Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about WordPress Scan. And WordPress Scan is a tool that comes pre-installed in Kali Linux. And what it does is it um, goes through and scrapes a uh, WordPress website and finds vulnerabilities that are in it. And so it searches the plugins, it can find usernames, you can brute force with it. So you can do a whole bunch of uh, stuff with it. So you don't want to start out by doing WP Scan and opening up the help page. So when you open up the help page, you can see all the different options there are. To simply run a basic scan, it's really not difficult. All you have to do is type WP scan um, dash dash URL and then the domain name that you want to scan. Um, so you can um, find usernames, passwords, um, plugins, all that different stuff with it. And so today we're actually going to be trying to hack this box, which is the Mr. Robot CTF. I have the completion video on my channel, um, but it is a WordPress site. So um, if we go to the website, there should be a WP login page. I think it's ten two three and awesome. So um, I've already done this, so I know there's a WP admin. So when you get to here, most WordPress sites is well, all WordPress sites actually tell you if you get the username right. So you can type in anything and it will tell you invalid username. So I think for this one, the username was Elliot. Yeah, I can't remember the password, it was something weird. But as you can see, it tells you right here that the username is correct, but the password isn't. So it really narrows down the brute forcing options that you have. So, <clears throat> back to the uh, WordPress scan. Um, you can go through all these and see what they do. Um, but today we're actually just going to do a basic WordPress scan, go through how to read the results, and then maybe do a username um, scan also. So, WP scan URL HTTP. And so, this is actually really useful because. Um, a high percentage of all websites on the internet are actually WordPress sites, and a lot of big companies use WordPress sites. Like I think ESPN Blog uses it, and um, obviously there's a lot of other ones. Okay, so now that the results are back, you can see that there's one vulnerability identified from the version number, and it is an application denial of service. And that's pretty much the only big vulnerability that they found. And it does show you that there is a robots.txt available, which is really powerful information to know, especially when you're trying to complete a CTF. So now we can actually go to here, and we're going to try and get some users. I don't think it will get any for this site, um, but if it did, they would show up down there. Um, you can also, if we go back to the help page you can um, brute force off just the password file that you want to do so it would be here it is so as you can see under wordless you can uh, supply a wordless for the password brute forcer so all you would have to do is do let's just do it real quick is so how you do it would be WP scan Word, if I can type word list, and then um, for root, that's also a short thing. So let's say I just want to use joker.txt, it would just be like this, and then I could uh, run the test. So, as you can see, um, all you have to do is put in the word list option and then add in where your file is located on your computer, and then the other option is you can. Um, just brute force the username so if you don't know the username um, it can be a lot easier and cut down a whole lot of time and effort if you can figure out that username especially since it tells you and that way you don't have to worry about brute forcing that and the password to try and get the combination right all you have to really do is focus on getting the password right so I hope this uh, tutorial helped you guys um, there's a whole lot of options like you can see the verbose output, output, which really just shows you information about what's going on. Um, there's a whole plethora of different options that you can choose from, and so I encourage you guys to check this tool out. Um, 
I was testing it on a box that I do have control over. It is I technically do own the box. It is on my network. So doing anything on a WordPress site online is illegal. So I'm not responsible for that. And uh, subscribe and like the video, and there'll be more to come. Thanks for watching.